What's going on YouTube? It's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I want to start this video by thanking each and every one of you that has subscribed to my channel. And for every one of you that are watching today, I'm honored to have you and I hope that you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. Well guys, I've been talking about this for a while now, but it is finally here. The all new 2018 Q9 QLED TV by Samsung. Now, if you guys have watched my channel before, you know that I have talked a lot about last year's Q7 TV. It was a spectacular model and I highly enjoyed it. However, last year, my favorite TV was the Q9. Now, that was kind of in the beginning before I started doing YouTube videos, so I never got to do a video on it. This year, things have changed. It's time to bring out the big dog. This is it, guys. If you are looking for a TV that is top of the line and has all the latest and greatest features, I recommend the Q9 series. Now, this year, they've really upped the ante, and I'm so stoked about this TV, guys. I want to do a few things today. We're going to unbox this TV. I'm going to show you everything that's in it. Be on the lookout. Don't forget to hit the bell because you know on my channel we're going to dig into this TV doing videos on settings and with different sources connected to it. But since we're doing an unboxing, I want to talk about a few features and a few key thoughts about the QLED models so that everybody understands because I know that everybody is not 100% all the time studying about technology, but you go to the store and you want the best, you see the display models and you hear the world word OLED a lot out there. And there is people that absolutely love OLED. Now, as you can see here, this TV says QLED, but it is not to be mistaken with OLED. It is not. The Q actually separates itself and that is Quantum Dot. It is the technology that Samsung is using. And I, the quickest and easiest way I can uh, describe it to you is it's almost like if you took a diamond and you shine light through it, the light would kind of bling out everywhere, creating magnificent, brilliant colors. That's what they use to bring these colors to life. The rest is left to LED. Now, a lot of people immediately attack Samsung because they go with LED. And I like to think about this in a little bit different perspective. So I'm going to talk about that briefly. LED TV has been out now for quite some time. And OLED is out. So a lot of people assume that if it's not OLED, it's no good. Because OLED is able to produce the best blacks on the market. So then you take Samsung. They are the biggest TV manufacturer, I believe, in the world, and they continue to lead the industry in sales. So you think, why LED? And a lot of people say that, you know, why don't they go with OLED? They put them in their phones. They put them in the Note series. They put them in the S series. So the way I look at it is this. OLED produces great blacks, just like Plasma did. But OLED has a few major drawbacks that are stopping me from thinking that it's something that I want to continue to own. Last year I picked up a TV and I really had no problem with the TV. I'm not going to call out any names, but the burn-in is a deal breaker to me. Burn-in is a image, and I'll throw a picture up here so you guys can see, that burns into the screen and it leaves that image there all the time. So if you're playing a video game and you didn't take care of your TV and you had a speedometer on there, eventually when you turn that TV on, the speedometer would be burned into your TV permanently. So LED in the beginning did not produce the blacks that everyone wanted. So Many times when we're talking about technology, unfortunately, we always have to have new technology, new, 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 new. But sometimes it's better, in my opinion, to step back and try to perfect technology instead of always trying 
to come out with something new. Samsung has taken a clear stance on LED technology because they know that it does not have the drawbacks that OLED technology continues to have. Slow refresh rates, they have great blacks, but they have poor brightness. So in the perfect environment, an OLED TV might be perfect for you. Meaning dark room, uh, true 4K HDR picture. But for gaming, though it might look good sometimes, the refresh rates are in general, you know, much slower than what Samsung's able to produce. In fact, this TV was born and built for the gamer in mind. Um, they have technologies with software upgrades that are coming. Um, VRR, variable refresh rates. These are things that gamers are going to rejoice for. Xbox, Xbox X are going to be able to work together with the Samsung Q9 in order to make that happen. Um, but more into LED, what Samsung has done, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, they have tried to attack the wheel and make it better. How did they do that? Well, let's talk about making the TV a beautiful piece of art in your house. Their TVs are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. They're beautiful. Technology-wise, they got full Bixby voice support. Um, they got the best contrast ratios. There is so many things as far as their processing power that make it just a flawless, fast, fluid experience. You know, all of the smart apps that you can ever want, you know, quality Wi-Fi signal, they have all of that. But now they have the brightest TVs on the market. The Q9 will go up to 2000 nits brightness, which is insane, guys. And why? Why do you need brightness? Well, the truth is the majority of us, we watch TV in rooms that are bright in the day and dark at night. And OLED technology in a bright room is going to not do very well. This has so much brightness that it can fight reflection and keep the TV not just bright, but keep the colors vivid because of the quantum dot technology. In addition to that, guys, when you're talking about motion rate and refresh rates, these are some of the fastest panels you can buy, meaning that the Q9 in 2018 could be a computer monitor for the avid, um, avid PC gamer, or again, a TV for beautiful day-to-day -day picture. And then of course, HDR, 4K, some of the brightest, most vivid pictures you can buy. They have now switched to the full array backlit. What does that mean? Well, what it means, guys, is that there's different kinds of L <clears throat> LED technology that lights the panel. So, you know, they could do edge lit, or they can do bottom lit. And basically what they do is they take the LED lights and that's what illuminates the TV. So what they do next to try to get those deep dark blacks is they put the local dimming in. Well, you know, every TV is different. Some of them have more um, zones than others. This one, guys, is the full array. TVs, they don't like to come out with exactly how many dimming zones but from what i have done in my research they have well over 400 dimming zones and it's full array which meaning and i'll show you a picture up here but you just take your tv screen and imagine a bunch of dots so that would be full array so you they have the ability to dim the sections to make them blacker in addition to that they came out with this new film and again, as I do videos, we're going to check this out together. But this film is a, like a black film that they put inside of the screen. This black film supposedly reduces glare to almost none. It also gets the deepest, darkest blacks. Um, so what they've done here, guys, is instead of trying to just invent new technology, meaning different kinds of TVs that do different things, they have taken LED and they have looked at the problems, they have listened to the consumer, and they, with the 2018 Q9, tried to figure 
all of those out, and they brought us. All right, guys, so it's time. So I prepped it a little bit. Quick note on this particular box, it was actually pretty nice. You only had to just slide the top off, and there you have it, guys. 2018 Q9 TV. Ta da! <laughs> Wait a minute. That doesn't look so nice, does it? All right, so what do we get here? First off, I have to say that they did a very good job packaging this this year. I like how the styrofoam actually keeps all together, even with the box itself off. Um, as you know, these TVs, they have very complex mirroring systems in them. You don't want to bump them around. Um, this is part of the stand. So, of course, you get the standard stand. Um, my big question is, hopefully, we get the silver remote, because the one remote is one of the best parts about the QLED line of TVs. So, you know what, before we do this, I'm going to come on over here, bear with me guys. I know this isn't always the funnest part, but it feels nice to pull these beautiful products out. And I will tell you one thing, guys. Wow. So this is the One Connect box kit. And it is heavy. Extremely heavy. Now, this year's cable, guys, the One Connect cable, the real thin cable, they did a couple upgrades to it that are really exciting. The first upgrade that they did to it was they included the power and the one connect cable in one cable. With that cable, you can paint it and run everything, the standard cable that comes with it, 15 feet away from your TV. That means that you take your one connect box and you plug in all your HDMIs and you can have it roughly 15 feet away. And I believe, um, you can buy another one that's up to 50 feet, I believe, or some craziness like that. What that means for you is, is that you don't need your wiring or any of your components anywhere around your TV. You can hide them in the cabinet somewhere. So you get your one connect box. What else do we get here? You know what? I'm going to set this up and lay it all out so we can take a better look together. Okay, so this is a little better. Now, just so you guys know, the presentation from start to finish is well packaged and I love what they did. They put the accessories in a book format where it kind of folded out. You get batteries, your power plug, some hardware, your one remote, and then this is the cable that is gonna change everything. Now last year, this cable was a little bit thinner. However, it did not include power. This includes power. Well, what does that mean for you? Well, it was nice last year that, you know, your one connect box was not by the TV, but the TV still needed to be plugged in and that still gave you the need to actually have a power outlet right behind your TV or you would still see a cable. It's all together in one and this is again paintable. You again get the stand. These are the pieces, the quick setup guide and then the one connect box. Now, I am just taken back by this because this thing is huge and it is heavy. Now, this is loaded with technology, which I mean, of course, I could just tell by the difference. The Q7 one was probably not even half of the weight of this. Um, however, this has your power supply. You get your EX link, your antenna in, your optical, um, your internet connection, four HDMI ports, then of course your ARC support, and this is the One Connect that is there, obviously for the One Connect cable. And we again are going to go through this in the setup video, but this is the unboxing guys. This is everything that comes with it. And now let's take a look at this beautiful right, TV. Guys. So, quick note, it does have the Silver One remote, beautiful remote, I'm excited about that. Let's check this out real quick. There it is, guys, the 2018 Q9. It's 
beautiful. It's about that thick in the back. That's due to um, the full array lighting. It does have to be back away from the screen. So it does add a little depth to the TV. Otherwise, guys, it has a virtually, you know, not their frame. It's very, very thin and they made it black so it can blend in. Um, we're going to try out all these new all features. Right, guys. Well, that concludes the unboxing of the 2018 Q9 TV. Don't worry though, we got tons of more videos to come. We'll really dig into this. Don't forget to hit that bell so you know when that content drops. I would absolutely be honored if you would consider subscribing if you have not. I say this guys in each video, but I mean it. Life is so short. Do something nice for someone today. Go out, do a kind gesture, love your family, love your neighbors, Take care of each other, guys. Live each day to the fullest. Put a big smile on your face. Don't forget to live that tech life. I'm JB Tech Fanatic, guys. I'll talk to you in the comments, and I hope you'll join me in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself. Peace.